Back here on the GLVC Sports Network with uh, representatives from the University of Southern Indiana. Another sweep for the Screaming Eagles here at the Cross Country Championships. The men's and women's teams winning the GLVC titles for the men. 25 overall, including 13 straight. And uh, for the women, it's uh, uh, 12 overall and seven consecutive uh, championships. And Mike Hilliard, uh, well, I tell you what, the program you guys have put together there in Evansville, it's uh, really something special. And let's first talk about uh, the, the women's championship, the 6K race. Uh, one of the uh, one of the closest ones, uh, you know, certainly that we can remember two points over Bellarmine. Uh, but uh, give us your, your thoughts on uh, USI's performance today. Well, I was definitely having flashbacks there late in the race to eight years ago when we lost to Bellarmine by two at Wisconsin Parkside. And it literally came down to the last 400 meters. And uh, with 400 meters to go today, our women were down by three points. Uh, Allie Rollins, who has not been in our top seven all year, came up huge and went from 11th to 9th in the last quarter mile. And then Bryce Cutler moved up two spots as well in the last quarter mile, and that sealed it for us. You know, up front, Melina, Jen, and Hope had already established, you know, really solid spots. But, you know, at the 4-5 is where, um, you know, we had to close it out, and, and the girls did a f fantastic job. Three in the top six for the women, and uh, the the one who led the group, Melina Grayska, the uh, junior, uh, a third place finisher today, 2207.07. Talk a little bit about your race today and uh, your third place finish. Um, yeah, I had some rough weeks before conference, so that's why I'm very happy that I could show that I'm in shape. The first loop was um, pretty relaxed, and then I tried to catch the second girl, but she was too strong today, so I'm very happy that I could finish third. It was a breezy, uh, breezy day out here at Kirksville Country Club, and uh, obviously we had talked about um, a, a number of the hills, and, and certainly uh, toward the end of the race, kind of challenging running up the hill, uh, dead into the wind. But uh, give us, uh, give us your thoughts on, on the course today, and, and where there were some spots that uh, where where you really felt like you were able to advance, and, and maybe some that you know where where it uh, kind of gave you some challenges as well. Uh, overall, I liked the course. And I transferred from New Mexico and it was very windy all the time, so I'm kind of used to windy conditions. But the hills were, uh, yeah, very rough in the second loop, so that was the hardest part for me. Well, congratulations, uh, Melina, on your third place finish. And, and Mike, we'll go back to you and have you talk a little bit about this men's program, 25 overall, and the streak continues. Uh, you got uh, uh, some pretty, pretty special young men that, uh, uh, that just flooded the all-conference uh, uh, team. And we have two with us to here today, uh, one that we talked to last year and, and uh, a, a really talented young man who has uh, a family tradition uh, pretty rich in, in USI history. Yeah, you know, I told the guys all week, you know, that I feel like this this could be the best team that we've ever had at Southern Indiana because we have really seven men who on the right day could win this meet individually, you know. And uh, today Austin sees that opportunity, you know, and, and really made a statement. You know, last year winning the 10K outdoors was one thing, but cross country is the ultimate title because you have everyone in one event, you know. So, uh, and, you know, Bastion uh, was just really, really solid for a second. And James Cecil, you know, who ended up being, I believe, our five, has had a great year, and he struggled a little bit early in the race today, but I told him after the race, you know, he came back from about 14th to 11th there late, and, and that's what seniors do. You know, it was not an easy effort for him by any means, but, um, you know, that's the kind of efforts that we need moving forward into regionals and nationals. You mentioned James Cecil in 11th, Kane Parker and Darren Lawrence uh, in 5th and 6th. But let's turn our attention to these young men here. And, uh, Bastion, we were we had a chance to talk with you last year at uh, the championship, a runner-up finish in 2016, another runner-up finish here in 2017. A little bit about your race today. Today uh, um, we had the goal just to build a strong pack in the beginning, like in the front, and um, get it rolling for the first half. And I talked to Austin a lot before the race to my teammates, and we didn't try to make a move super early. But somehow Austin felt it halfway through, and he was going for it. Um, and I, I told him before the race, I want to go with him. Whenever he makes that move, I want to help him. Um, because it's windy out, and I don't want to let him all alone. So I just felt it, and I thought, I got to go with him. And we helped each other out this, the third lap. I think um, a good race for us. Bastion, congratulations on a runner-up finish yet again, 24-35-64, your time. And we'll bring in our GLVC champion, sophomore uh, Austin Nolan, a winning time of 24-28-66. Austin, congratulations on your GLVC championship. Thank you. 
Let's uh, talk a little bit about your race today. And Bastion kind of gave us a little uh, insight as to, you know, where you guys were looking to break and whatnot. But uh, take us through your, your 8,000 meter day today. I mean, just like Bastion said, we, our game plan really wasn't to make a move until about 6K because there was a lot of good finishes in the race. So we didn't want to wait too long to wait till like 800 to go. So that we decided that we'd go about 6K. And about 4K into the race, I just kind of found myself in the lead and thought, I just need to roll with it. Sometimes you just have to play with the cards that you're dealt, and that's, that's what was happening today. So luckily, Bastion moved up with me, and we were able to work together that last 4K. So we we uh, tease the the audience a little bit about um, how, how special not only this championship is for you but your family as well. Your father's James, a four-time GLVC champion, uh, and now uh, another Nolan is uh, uh, having the the, the title one. Uh, that has to mean not only a lot to you but a lot to your dad as well. T tell us uh, what what the post race uh, uh, reaction was like. Oh, I mean anybody who knows my dad knows that he's a very very excited person and I mean after the race he just ran up to me and gave me a big hug and told me he was really proud of me I mean it means a lot to be able to carry on the tradition and be able to come out here and do not exactly what he did because he won it as a freshman too but to be able to try to repeat and do what he did. Well it's your day today Austin and uh, congratulations on being GLVC champion. Members of the repre uh, representatives rather of the uh, University of Southern Indiana, once again, men's and women's cross-country championships here in Kirksville, Missouri. Uh, we're going to take another quick break, and when we come back, we'll wrap up our coverage here in Kirksville, Missouri. You're watching the GLVC Sports Network.